there's a deep desire in us to make pictures. I mean, they've been drawing for 30,000 years. The teaching of drawing is teaching people to look. That's what it's doing. It was really when I was at art school that I started to see the relationship between history, philosophy, politics and art. Prior to that, I, I thought that art was just making pretty pictures. Actually, art is connected to, you know, life. You can't teach art in the same way you can teach French. French exists whether, whether you do it or not. But when you're doing art, the center of doing art is in yourself. Most of the literate subjects do not ask that of them. So this develops an entirely different realm of skill. Creativity is critical thinking. And without it, how are you gonna really open up and ask harder questions? And art opens all of those kind of passages and possibilities to think beyond what we already know. In a child's education, that doors need to be open to other universes, other modes of thinking. And art is a non pre ascribed dangerous world full of possibility. And I think that's a vital space for children to have in their formative years of their education. From a top-down level, you don't have innovation if you don't have arts. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter if you're going to study history or geography or science, you still need to be creative. Because the people who are the outliers in those fields are the most creative people. To have art in schools be eroded, which is happening at the moment, is disastrous for Britain, I think, because our best industry is the creative industry. Art and cultural production is at the very centre of what makes a society what it is. And for an entire new generation not to know what is the cultural and visual history of ourselves is kind of denying our own identity. Art is a reflection of the society that we are, the kind of mirror that art holds up, the way that art helps define the identity of a nation, that you can trace that back historically. It's deeply embedded in humanity. What art education does to people who are not going to be artists is giving them the opportunity to build certain aspect of themselves that otherwise will be either ignored, undeveloped, or repressed. It's all about kids finding out who they are, and they're all different. That you can be whatever you want to be is something that art certainly taught me. It can access a part of your brain, body, spirit, mind, that nothing else can. Nothing is more stimulating, exciting, consoling than looking at a brilliant painting. Art in schools shouldn't be sidelined. I think it should be right there, right up in the front. Because I think art teaches you to deal with the world around you. It's the oxygen that actually makes all the other subjects breathe. There's a great quote by John Ruskin. Art shows us what it is to be human. And really that's, that's why art should be on the curriculum.